Hello all and welcome to another Tom's Gaming World. It's been a little while since we've done one of these. Uh, what have I got to share? Well, I'm here in a slightly different uh, place than usual. Uh, but right here, I have a few things to show you. So, so you mem might remember the little gaming setup I had here. Well, it'll be quite some time ago now and we had a Dreamcast here. And uh, we don't have a Dreamcast anymore, but we do have an Xbox 360 a Slim, capable of playing uh, games from any region, which is great. Uh, and I'll go into a little bit more detail on that in a moment. I've got myself a monitor uh, to connect both the Xbox and for the time being, until I move it uh, back to the flat, is a PS5. And here is a PS3. So yeah, the PS5 is new and I'm really happy to have one. However, I haven't used it as much as the Xbox, in all honesty. I mean, I'm really impressed by uh, Ratchet & Clank, which I also got with it, which is here, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, which is a beautiful looking game. Um, I think, yeah, it's fun. I mean, don't expect anything uh, too different from uh, the other Ratchet & games, Ratchet & Clank games. Uh, but yeah, it really is a great showcase for the um, graphical capabilities of the PS5. It also uses the uh, functions of the new DualSense controller a little, although I did turn off the adaptive triggers because I think when you're firing your gun a lot, you don't really want that extra resistance. Now, one of the things that I love about the PS5 is how this controller's uh, functions are integrated into something like um, Astrobot, which is uh, included, Astrobot's Playroom, I think it's called, which is included on the PS5 itself, and that game just blew me away. In my personal opinion, I think the team, Team Asobi, who developed that game, are on a really high level of game design, and they know how to make uh, a fun platformer. Um, I'd say there's some competition for Nintendo there. I, I think up until now, Nintendo have been nailing the platform game with the Mario series, obviously. But in uh, Astro Bot's Playroom, I think there's some real competition there. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't play a lot of the previous uh, Astro Bot game, Rescue Mission, is it? I can't remember what it's called now. The VR game, probably could have got that totally wrong. But that VR game was really cool, I could tell. It had a lot of potential, but I got motion sickness playing it, unfortunately. But uh, so I can't really uh, say anything to the quality of that. But I assume if it's anything like uh, Astrobot's Playroom on PS5, it was also a really good experience. So yeah, I've installed a few PS4 games on it. I've got a Balan Wonderland on there, so I had the PS4 copy upgraded that to PS5. It runs better on the PS5 than on the PS4. It's not revolutionary or groundbreaking in any way shape or form but it's a better game on ps5 so if you want to play that game i'd recommend playing it on the ps5 if you can uh, or alternatively the xbox uh, series s or x I, I assume it would probably run well on those platforms too so yeah tough to have the ps5 but going back to why i've got the xbox 360 here it was because mostly of one because of one game and that game is tetris the grand master ace so for those who don't know i am a, a rather big fan of the tetris series and i've been collecting tetris games for quite some time that one eluded me for so long didn't see the point in getting it unless i could play it and with this uh, xbox i've got i can also i decided to collect dead or alive games to get the japan exclusive uh, oh, a bit of mark on there, but a special edition of Dead or Alive 4 uh, in, in the hard case. Oh, and uh, we nearly lost a PS4 controller there. But also here you've got uh, Dead or Alive 3, original Xbox version, Japanese. And you've also got Dead or Alive Ultimate, Japanese version in the hard case again. That could take Dead or Alive 1 and 2 the ultimate versions and you may have seen a video where I unbox King of Fighters 14 for the PS4 that's also here currently 
along with a few other like PS2 games I've been playing on my PS3 because this unfortunately still PS3 doesn't play Blu-rays anymore so it, it's a 60 gig so it'll play PS2 um, and it's got a load of games installed on it so that's nice so yeah there's not much more to talk about here other than this I nearly forgot I picked up a PlayStation TV as well one thing I'll say about the PlayStation TV is of course these games were never made to run on a screen as big as the one I'm playing them on that they were made for the Vita so they do look a little bit uh, blurry I suppose you'd say and not all games seem to run now they may just require updates uh, which I haven't done yet because of uh, storage capacity but um, yeah just just bear in mind that not everything runs straight out of the box some games work fine some games don't uh, the advantages of playing them on a bigger screen yeah there's certainly some advantages to that but I don't know how much I can recommend the PlayStation TV I'd say it's a nice to have but definitely not a, a must to have little box but it is cute I mean this works with your regular PlayStation controllers I've been playing with a PS3 controller that syncs by Bluetooth you turn it on here there's no little light to uh, tell you it's on or anything like that uh, connect the HDMI there not connected at the moment there's uh, USB and uh, Ethernet there uh, that's your AC power and where do you put your PS Vita games where well, you put them in here and you put your memory cards in there so yeah I didn't really want to make this a huge long video or anything just a quickie to show you uh, where I'm at with gaming currently and then join the 360 again very much uh, and the PS5 as well of course and I've been playing that and enjoying that one too and the uh, PS TV so that's really what's going on right now that's the latest sort of pickups again I'm getting back into sort of dead or alive uh, collecting so um, and also Japanese Xbox 360 Japanese Xbox that's also uh, a focal point for, for me currently uh, but yeah you know nothing out of the ordinary but uh, until next time it's goodbye and game on.